This game is just fucking terrifying. <laughs> Feels like every time I turn around, I'm just like, ah! <laughs> just like jumping and screaming in the house or something like that. It's like, you, uh, it's so hilarious. Just how goofy I've been acting with this game. All right, let's continue. Where do we leave off? We, we finished Saga's thing, right? And I believe we have not switched. We wanted to go exploring all the new areas that open up for Saga. The FBC is holding Wake at the Sheriff Station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake and I have the Clicker. We have to work together to stop this. Casey. Do you read me, Casey? Damn it. Where are you, Casey? He better be okay. Focus, Saga. Get to the station to wake. Seeing if there's anything. Okay, there was a couple containers I forgot to grab. We're going to go grab that container real quick. Because I should have inventory space now. It's funny, this game has been, uh... Well, joy. Glad there was nothing in there. Um, I was reading up, this This game actually has, like, slight performance issues on PS5. It's And it's part of what's been, like, making me worry. Like, I've been, like, sitting here going, why am I getting stutterings? It's actually just this game. I actually was just playing FF7 Remake for about 15 minutes before, before stream started just to figure figure that out and I was like, oh, why is this running perfectly? That would be why. So. You can't be there. You getting down? Okay. All right, so God damn it, I'm trying to get away from this goddamn wellness center. All right, so is there a path? Oh, there's a path back there. Okay. I missed this. Another page. <clears throat> Glad I found these bolt cutters in the in the overlap. Oh. That's not creepy at all. Okay, so there's a stash out here. That's the path. Another locked box. Hey, that one needs a key. Let's go check the other path. Okay. 
got that. I want to take the other path, which there's, I can just... Let's go back up this way, because I'm just going to come around this way anyways, so... She saw me. That was fun. Pretty ass game. Oh, there's a shack. Is it one of those shacks where I just need to power it up? Yes. Playing Dead by Daylight chat. new 
I love how the save is a cup of coffee. Alright. Where do we gotta go here? There's a stash right nearby. So give my arrows back, motherfucker. There's another cult stash. Another one of those cult boxes. Okay, we have one of the symbols. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So, let me go back to this. Let me do this in order here. Uh, so, you're revealing that to me, which then reveals that to me, which is the first symbol, which is them opposing each other. Then you point me... I go that way, which points me to this... So I don't know the middle symbol. Morning, DG. <coughs> Oh, that's why I didn't get implemented into the stream. I forgot to implement the Twitch uh, alerts. Okay, so we know the first and last one, so I guess we can just... Oh! Ah. Uh-oh. this don't worry neither am I saga okay morning Sambuca <coughs> okay so oh 
what was the last one again? Them in each other, them... Okay. So, opposed, Madonna tits, and them poking each other. I'll be a bad boy. Okay. <laughs> I want I want to pick the shit up. I don't want it to run back and forth. Then fight those bitches again. Oh. Alright, uh last one and there's a ranger station over here, okay. Let's hit the ranger station first. Must be locked from the other side. Joy. Joy. Oh, stash key. It's a stash key. Yeah, I'm actually kind of impressed how, how, at the length of the game. Given it's a, <clears throat> a Resident Evil like, I was kind of expecting it to be 12 hours max. We're definitely past that with. It feels like more to go. So. I'm not imagining this to be a super long game, though. I, I would imagine this is probably going to cap out in the 20-hour range. It's also a very... Like, cinematic game. Come <laughs> on. 
Are you not motherfucking dead? Oh. Oh, mm. She just littered. Ooh. Uh. Oh, the stash is right here. Another cult stash? I want the better flare. I just saw it for no reason. <laughs> Alright, there was a light somewhere. Where is it? Usually they have reloads here. So, we need to get out of here. Mm. Oh. <sighs> I'm doing well, DG. It has been a pretty damn good week for me. I can't complain. Oh, these things. Why are these things here? Why? What? 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 What is the significance of those things? Very colorful. Another one of those lunch boxes. Oh, that would be the uh, significance. Okay, maybe the, those those symbolize that those things are nearby. Sad that I'm just figuring that out. I would say this, given that, like, what we were talking about earlier with the uh, the length of this game, given the amount of time that there w there was between like Alan Wake two and one and two, I think fans would have probably been a little disappointed with a short game. And I'm glad Remedy didn't go that route, and they re Remedy really went hard on this, like. You have to you like, you have to give Remedy their props. This actually makes me want to play like other Remedy games, like just because like, I have never played Control, for instance. I've heard nothing but good things about Control. You know, I just didn't know if it'd be a game for me. After playing this, I'm like, I'm kind of, kind of interested. You know. Oh great. Where's that third dude? Happy world is all smiles. Her face hurts. <laughs> world is all
Fuck you, dude. Where's my goddamn save point? <laughs> Box? There it is. I want to see how this damn rifle works. Okay, so we're going back to the police station. I'm testing the weapon. You are one irritating son of a bitch. I'll tell you that right now.
cool. More of those rhymes. I'm just, I'm just after loot, you know. town okay Yeah, actually, I should do this. Get the clicker to wake and make him fix his attempt to play God. That's the plan. But the FBC have him. Nah. You, you, you okay over there, Ivy? Ivy has zoomies right now, chat. <clears throat> She's losing her mind. Welcome back, DG. You're right, Ivy. <laughs> I can just hear her going berserk back there. Definitely losing her mind. Okay, uh, I need to. Oh, there's the door. Yako, we're going to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? No, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck. I'm drinking. Oh, hello there. Oh. So. At the bar while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. 
Police station. Those people just burst in here and expect others to clean up after them. I'm in the right. Going, I'm going the right way. Okay. Okie dokie. I don't like the sounds coming from the station. That's reassuring. That's very reassuring. I need to go back. Got a case to solve. out always a good sign there's taken inside holding cells is that where they're keeping wake door is locked though Anyone here? I'm here in the closet. Agent Estevez? Is that you? Anderson? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Looks like it's a good thing I didn't. <sighs> Looks like. <laughs> My leg's busted, so I'm gonna need your help. Listen, there is a person out there with you invaded by something that we call the shadow, and if you a don't- taken. Yeah. I'll handle it. I wish I could fucking drop something right now. That leg doesn't look good. <sighs> Feels even worse. But thanks for saving the rest of me. We should talk. What happened here? <laughs> Where to fucking start? Uh, we came to check out a system alert at Cauldron Lake, but it's worse than we could handle. Real boondoggle. The police, my own agents, most were invaded before we could even react. What did the FBC come here to do? Bright Falls is the site of a recurring altered world event. The shadow is stronger than we expected. We're low on resources, problems at HQ. But we do have equipment for dealing with the shaded threat. We were just caught off guard before we could set it up. Have you found my partner, Agent Casey? Yeah, we found him out in the woods. 
had a close encounter with the shadow, and it did something to him. Is he okay? Oh, no. He's alive. We <coughs> took him down to the morgue for an examination. Haven't heard anything since the attack. Where is Wake? I know what's going on here. Wake can fix this. Alan Wake is a para-utilitarian. The word's a mouthful, so you know it's serious. We have him locked up in the holding cells per protocol. He's connected to the shadow in some way. Estevez, I need to see Wake. How do I get into the cell block? Okay. <laughs> Protocols don't mean that much at this point anyway. Don't make me regret this, Anderson. Until the power's back on, the door to the holding cells won't open. There's a fuse box downstairs in the basement. Joy! Here. I'll need these keys. A uh, basement. Hooray. Back into the morgue, huh? Fantastic. Yeah, I'm so looking forward to going there again. Hearing some interesting sounds. Don't forget. Maybe it's seven two four. What am I missing here? What's something they all have in common? UFOs. Don't forget A is one, so if J is zero, hold on. So that means this is the 10th letter. So 20th letter in alphabet's T. I'm an idiot. W is 3. So it's either 327 or 723. It's the first letter of the authors in the books that, are, that match. Alright, so I got that unlocked. I just have to find a, a dump site at this point. I need to find a place I can save and shit.
Can't get in there. Okay, we've been through here. Did you read me, Anderson? I read you. Have you had our frequency this entire time? Eavesdropping is a big part of the job. But no, I got it from your partner. Anderson, look for a fuse to replace the blown out one in the fuse box. That should get the power going again. Yeah. On it. I'm going to go back. Before I do anything, I'm actually going to go back and drop all this shit off. Uh, the, the rifle. I hate the rifle, to be honest. I want to pick up that shotgun. This is not the way. Fuck you, Saga. Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, uh, God damn it. Oh, fine. I'll find a save point. This isn't the fucking Mandalorian. Did she close her door? She did. Oh joy, this shithole again. Ugh. I did not miss it the first time. Very dark down here, chat. Thank you, Saga. Oh, fuck this music. Just fuck it. Another cult box. You want a lot number of lines. All right. Okay. Oh, I hate these things. Oh my god. The damn water bottles. Oh, shoot. Back upstairs. Yeah, they must have borrowed one of my shoe boxes in order to fit all the crap that they're fitting in these. Where is that first aid kit? Yeah, that's probably what they did. They probably just borrowed one of the shoe boxes that I that, that's mine. You know, 
how you it's how you fit shotguns and crossbows. You know, just just get, just just get it I'm from sure somebody Sheriff who uh, wouldn't mind me borrowing this. Get it from somebody who has a size 16 shoe. You know. All right. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Move faster while aiming. Seems to move plenty fast already, at least for me. All right. Uh, the maintenance room had something that I didn't pick up, correct? No. Uh, back here was a flashbang. Is this a save room? It is. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Yeah, when I've gotten them, I've used them. Hey, Anderson. Like what I've done with the place? Hmm. Could use a bit more glide. <laughs> Funny. How are you holding up? Ah, don't give me that worried look, Anderson. It's just a, it's a flesh wound. <laughs> Gave me a chance to have a, a nice chat about ex-wives with uh, Kieran. Uh, Agent Estevez, I mean. Making new friends, huh? I'm jealous. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the situation on your end? Watery turned out to be a good lead. Found the clicker and the cult. But the horror story's changing reality. Like Wake said it would. Logan, she's, uh... The story claims she died here. But we can stop it. Wait, Saga. What do you, um... Logan is gone. She has been. For a long time. Oh, no! Casey's affected by the horror <clears throat> story, too. I'm fighting for them all now. What happened at the hotel? Wake was telling the truth about the cult being after him. The thing, the dark presence, it's real too. I saw it. A fucked up monster cloud. Wake tried to warn me. 
It knocked me out. FBC found me in the woods later. I'm gonna fix this, Casey. You, Logan, all of it. Uh-oh. I just need to get the power back on first. Yeah, give him hell, Anderson. Just remember, some things in life can't be fixed with a light switch. As for the power problem, here. I found a fuse on those poor bastards there. I'll take care of it. Stay put, Casey. I'll let you know when it's safe. I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> I can tell something is wrong. What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. He's taking case Casey. He's turning into a taken. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. He's scared. He's becoming a taken. Is one hundred percent becoming a taken. Yep. Okay. So at some point, Casey is going to become his... Yeah. Anderson, good news, bad news. You can get to the cell block now, but the shaded hostels that were in there are on the loose. Thanks for the heads up. I like this shotgun. More coming down. Situation is under control, Estevez. Coming back up. Copy. You bitch. <sighs> I'll leave that there for a minute. Never mind.
Anderson, over here. Got a little cramped in that closet. What's going on? We had a hell of a time avoiding those taken. Ended up back here. Anyway, I wanted to warn you that we have the Coscula brothers in the cells as well. They're the ringleaders of the cult of the tree. Don't let your guard down. Is the FBC sending any help? <sighs> we were the help. Well, us in the lake house. But we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat. It's stored in the back lot. We were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, etc., etc. We are not out of this fight yet. What's at the lake house? It's a bureau research facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is lost, taken by the shadow. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. Wish me luck. According to the Luck and Probability Department, it's statistically bad luck to wish people good luck during a crisis. Thanks. That was weird. It's gotten very dark outside, chat. Alright. This should be Saga. fun. Fucking FBI, FBC, you government fucks all fucking this up for us! Let us the fuck out! You're the leaders of the cult. You're not going anywhere. Wake will ruin everything. Get rid of him, Saga. You fucking shot me. Typical government stooge. Let me out so I can kill him. That fucker! You come to our town and act like you know what you're dealing with, but you have no fucking idea. Let us out. You can't stop it. None of you can. We can take care of this. We've been preparing for this. Tempted to kill you. Saga, do you have it? You wrote Logan into the story. You told me yourself from the dark place. Listen, Scratch is coming. He's, he's close. He's almost here. He's My daughter is dead because of you. She's a child. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm trying to fix this. I will fix this. I'll save everyone, but we're running out of time. I need the clicker. Oh, no. I think I'm going to regret this. I have the clicker. You will fix this. You will save my daughter. Promise me. Yes, I promise. But we're out of time. Hurry! Why do I get the feeling that Scratch? Don't fucking give it to him! Get him, get him! He's a fucking monster, Saga! There it is! We've been waiting for you, motherfucker! I'm gonna fucking destroy you! Scratch. I knew it. It's Scratch. Shit, shit. Shit, shit. It's Scratch. He was pretending to be awake. The plan is fucked. Estevez, come in. Scratch is here. How do I stop him? Bad news. The containment unit isn't prepped, but the light array should affect him. How do... How do I activate the lights? I can turn them on from here, but you need to prime the three power cores first. The glowing FBC generator case. I found the lights. This is fucking terrifying.
Oh, I see. How does that not work? Okay. I need more time. What am I what am I missing here? I'm missing something. Bullets don't work on him. Another core activated. Okay. Only one left. Doing great. Simpler than I was making it out to be. Scratch was here. He'll be back. What the fuck do we do now? Oh boy. New song? Song about scratch. Cool song. Okay. My brother. This should be interesting. Scratches wakes double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. You said it, Anderson. It's a shit show. So what's the plan? The FBC usually handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know if I could trust you. That was a mistake. So was believing Scratch. But it's not too late. I just need to understand more. <laughs> you got that right. Let's start acting like we're on the same side, yeah? So tell me what I'm missing. The FBC must know something. Good news, we have Bureau Intel on all of this. Bad news, it's highly classified. Good news, consider yourself deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Here's a key to the cell where we keep the files. Happy reading. Okay. Um, thanks. 
Go team. <laughs> The horror story is changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here, even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's... Uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter, your kid might be fine. The whole thing is a nightmare. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. The late nights, travel, alternate realities threatening their existence. My ex-wife couldn't take it. Karen, you're better off without her. I know I am. Scratch pretended to be wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. I had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wakes. I think he was always a monster. Always scratch. You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery, and, and then, uh, then Logan, well, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case, if you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. All right, let's profile Scratch, I assume. I assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness, gone diving. Note from my editor, you're using the wrong tense, trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. Well, this should be interesting. Scratch was pretending to be Wake, manipulating me. What does he want from me? No. I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful. Too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. Like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. What's the upgrades for this again? Move faster while aiming, hold the fire button to activate auto fire, stand still and aim steadily at a target. Okay. Still gotta talk to Ilmo. <clears throat> this should be interesting. I'm sorry about your brother, Elmo. Yaku was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. 
I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect watery and bright falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any Taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. Interesting. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always <coughs> known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just a name did half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101. Fear is a great motivator. You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger scratches the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. You were the better Costco. Much better than me. Ilmo said the cult kills Taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by on bulk. We've got a floater, a Taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Elmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the Taken. We're on the same side. If the cult is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party. Invitation only. Wrong time. Wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Okay. Starting to get that a little bit. <coughs> I already took care of all this. Good, take care of it for me. Oh. Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. That makes sense. The entire time we've been wondering what that... Well, not wondering, but I thought like... I initially took it as Wake escaped and we are seeing, seeing his past. Now it makes more sense. He is trapped down there. Now, now we're just figuring out he actually is trapped down there. And he actually is trying to communicate with Saga. And he is rewriting the story while he's down there. That's actually an interesting point. Their goals are exactly the same, too. Uh, this is the kind of case my ex hated. 
Phillips might kill me. <sighs> That's funny. The cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite. The cult didn't trust Wake. Or is it Scratch? Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as. The lake is a gateway to the Dark Place. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? Huh. Is that what's going to happen here? Are we are we going to be like I need to know what information I can still trust. There's another profile. Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker to make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. I never did any of these things. It's like some bad soap opera version of my life. not right yeah i know i'm saga I'm, I'm not sure which one it goes at so i'm trying to figure it out <laughs> oh the nightingale one that would make sense dumbass Keep trying. Rituals meant to destroy, take and not create them. That's it.
back door. I already grabbed this one, right? I'm going to deal with the situation, Elmo. But the town will need protection until we sort this out. I could use your help. Right. Right. I'll round up the gang. Whoever's left. We won't let these fucking monsters hurt any more of our people. We'll do my brother proud. Thank you, Elmo. Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. So the call of the tree actually kills Taken. They were on our side even if their methods are misguided and criminal. It looked right from where we were standing. Nothing's what it seems in this case. Too many stories contradicting each other. Too many versions of the truth. We have a lot of catching up to do after this thing is all over. Everything is different now. My family, me, the whole fucking world. I'll buy the coffee, Anderson. Partners to the end. This case is one for the books. I see what you did there. <laughs> Come up with a new plan. Uh... The clicker amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. The dark presence is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. The clicker can fix this, but I can't use it without Wake. 
And Don't now it's the profile. Maybe he can help. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. I've got it now. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything for good. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? Oh, not yet. Not just yet. Give me a moment. Okay, Anderson. Okay. You let me know when you're ready. Uh, so I, the, the reason I'm doing that is I'm going to go downstairs, save, and we're going to switch to uh, Alan because we still have a part of Alan's story we need to do. Okay, so we're actually, we are pretty close, actually. Okay. Because there'll probably be a mop bucket in here. We can switch to Alan's reality. <clears throat> or is there? Do I have to go? Can I, can I go? Or am I actually like, is this? Okay. I was gonna say the lodge has a mop bucket. It has the, uh, the reality switch. Back to Alan's world. Now, where do we leave off with Alan? Oh, that's right. He's in. He's uh, chilling in uh, what's his face's place again. But this time, it's flooded.
<clears throat> in Wallendor's joint, yeah. TV time. We gonna get another music video? Uh oh. Nope. Uh oh, this is different. Hi, Warlin. You make a very perfect shadow. I don't have time for this, so let's get over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules, endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky, you know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. Oh, I had it wrong! I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. Warlin Saga's father. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wake. Whatever you say. I think Warlandor is Saga's father. Dor, Zane, the masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. He talked about that Alan dragged somebody important into this that he cares about. And Saga's father disappeared shortly, right around the same time Wake disappeared. Oh shit! Is that the is that what's going on here? Oh, it also like it, it also it, it also like makes sense because Saga's family all seem to be like Norse, like they you know so in. Uh, for Saga's complexion, that would obviously mean that she would have to have somebody who is probably, like, of, you know, a, a different, you know, uh, heritage and stuff to be her her dad. I, I think that fits. I think it fits. God, this game is a head case. I love it. It makes it, it gives you so many theories. And it's so cool. It's so cool. It's all the things they make you think about and shit. It's so cool. It's just so damn cool. I, I, I love it. The, cra the crazy part is I can be saying all this. I can be 100% wrong, right? I can absolutely be wrong. It 
it just it just has that feeling of like it sounds right like you know it, it like it it's, things are starting to just piece together bit by bit Oh, uh, can we not go through the lobby? I'll just go through the lobby. I cannot go through the lobby. It's all flooded. Gotta do all this shit again. Great. All right. I forget what we do here. That's the exit. So we have to get to the basement. The door was locked. Well, that making me put a key, a code this time. Found your shit, eh? You hiding anything? Hmm? Huma, lauta, that held you close, Tom. Eh, but on, what set the granny in the snow? When the panic is biggest, the help is also near. Door didn't seem happy to see me this time. Hearing the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your films, Tom. Like you have put me. Sehän <laughs> olisk. What films? <laughs> he thinks for Tom's I'm name. I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom the Poet, my favorite, and Uerden Uer is the most famous one. Of he course. thinks for Thomas Zane. And is it true what I hear that it's coming back to cinema soon? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... the... the, 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 the light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. Uh, they are waiting in the shoebox in the basement. What you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. Of course it's in the magic shoebox. Everything's in the magic shoebox.
this different? Why why is this different? I was not expecting that. To get to Parliament Tower, I needed to find a murder site. Zane would know where to find one. Oh, great. I gotta go back to that fucking place? Oh, no. I don't want to go back to that scary-ass place. Esoteric bohemian with a hard on for acts of cruelty performed in the name of occult nonsense. A director wants to control every yeah, aspect maybe. of the world in their films. Is a cult leader any different? Was Zane just another alias for scratch? There was a rumor that Wake and Zane had been working on something together. I was going to get the truth out of Zane. With whatever means necessary. Oh, holy sweet Jesus Christ. Six six five was upstairs. The elevator would take me there. Welcome back, Ivy. No, off the desk. Up here. Up. There you go. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head! Scratch wrote return, not me. You're a fucking liar. You've given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch, he promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. A visionary. It took return and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him 
before he gets out, before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema where my film Nightless Night is playing. He tried. I told you not to try anything. have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me when you're lost you're lost in your own company and cut oh. now that is drama Oh, joy. I had to find the movie theater poet's cinema. The next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. Uh, Zane's gonna be who we have to fight next. Oh, God. Morning, Zim. This creepy-ass fucking hotel. No, get me away from this damn creepy hotel. Where is this place, huh? Okay, so down Draft Street. I could see the searchlight beams of the moon. Had I chosen to pursue the cult, or had they chosen me for some unknowable purpose? To be a demon, to sort the clues based on my interpretation, to change that which I observed. It was all a play, shadows on the wall of the cave, an echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? In a performance set up for someone else. Okay, the spotlights. Wake up. Creepy ass game. Maybe we're just gonna do this. Can't just run by them. 
Shit. I had to find the movie theater Poet Cinema. The next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. It's probably a save down here. There's a save room. Could also probably make the uh, hotel room something less terrifying and creepy. I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me ahead of scratch. Damn chairs, let me through. Don't you have the, don't you have a shoebox? Yeah, it's right there. Jesus. Gee, have a good one, buddy. Thank you for hanging around today. I appreciate it. I could see the searchlight. Had I chosen to pursue the cult, or had they chosen me for some unknowable purpose? To be a demon. Oh, you can attack me while this is going on. Great. The shadow moved too fast to see. Where had it gone? Bullshit. Well, I made a save, Jesus. side of the plaza. Chosen me for some unknowable purpose. To be a demon. To sort the clues based on my interpretation. To change that which I observed. It was all a play. Shadows on the wall of the cave. An echo of the truth events that somewhere else. 
Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? In a performance set up for someone else. Good God. Okay, I have no batteries. Get me in the cinema! The theater appeared to be closed. Fuck you! Maybe the ticket could still get me in. Open the door! Thank you! Close the, the door! It was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. Did I stop writing at some point? I can't stop. There's too much at stake. The main event was the murder. I had to find my way to it. All right, let's explore down here, see if we can find some supplies. It's in the freezer. Hey, that's where you keep your painkillers, in the freezer. Ooh, map. The break room.
I missed the battery pack? Where? 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 Hello, I'd like to watch the new, uh, new, the new Avatar movie. One ticket, please. I felt like I'd been on this. I felt like I'd been on this case, looking for the cult of the word for a lifetime or more. The only case I'd ever been on. They would surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night, leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere. Arriving at the cinema, I felt a monumental, terrifying revelation trembling before me, ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole. This place had significance to the cult. There was something to use there. You cheap bitches. Alright, here we go. Start messing shit up. The first step toward the murder site. I was making progress. Charming. There's an in and out to the ladies' room? What the fuck? That's creepy. back there we know there's something back oh that changed someone had barricaded themselves in the room Can't go in there. All right, they're making it pretty clear where you gotta go.
I was missing something. Okay. What? Where is there another path down here? Right, I can't go in there. Can't get through there. Eh. That leads to where we've been. It's just not... So it's got to be the door down here, then. Has to be. There's nowhere else to go. Did I just miss a way through over here? Well, I might... No, no. Yes, please. The scene here had changed. Buddy, I'm good to talk, buddy. Do you a lot of good to talk, buddy? <laughs> it was an initiation ceremony. No, I didn't. So we made our new members believe. Two of New York's finest. They had performed endless favors to earn their place among Sounds us. like Ilmo. We had something special waiting for them. And something very special for you, Alex Case. I think it is Ilmo. Who's your leader? Alan Wake? Hmm? Scratch? Zane? Give me a name! <laughs> you will meet him soon enough. There was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre. So I'd use it. Okay. Charming.
Save real quick. This is one dirty ass theater. Jesus. God. Circling Thomas Zane were a bottomless rabbit hole. I thought he was dead. To film freaks, he was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema. A rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film. Tom the Poet. Before he went missing. Mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie. Played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film and early work made in Finland, Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail, just like Wayne's books were. Let's change the scene. Oh, it's even more fucked up.
The cops had gotten their 15 minutes of fame with the cult, and it had been a scream. They were the murder victims. I had to find a way into the projection booth somehow. It was locked from the other side. Morning, Hearth. Uh, how are you doing today? Oh, good lord. So what do I do? Find a way into the booth. Curious. That doesn't change this, right? Worth it trying. could not be opened on this side. This door doesn't open, right? Okay, so the question now is what's next, right? Did I ever check up here with this room set up like this? Right, and this is locked, correct? What don't I know? What am I missing here? was affecting the scene. I wonder. Pretending to be a secret society. Well, maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. A puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. 
Nightless Night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. lamp on the screen had no light. I could track the light of the lamp shone out of the screen and revealed the door. Wake. Oh. Wake. Oh, joy. I was back out into the night. The seedy alley away from prying eyes was a good scene for dark deeds. How about I pick up supplies first? Dirty deeds. Done dirt cheap. You got no loot for me out here, you cheap bastards. Cheap bastards! Half cheap. Okay. Alright. Let's start fucking with it. My writing was affecting me. Someone had fallen to their death from the rooftop. Well, how do I get up there?
Was there a ladder in here or something? You want me to go to the roof, but you give me no way to go to the roof. What the hell? I need to define the answer on the plot board. <gasps> Boy, fuck you. The police car, not important to the story. I knew I was making progress. I had to keep going. This initiation? Uh, there's no you... snow. Nah. I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep, like we died and went to heaven. No snow. None whatsoever, Brayden. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Okay. I am happy and not appalled. city trapped in eternal night they watch the film where the night never arrives where the night hides in your mind see here's what I don't like I have a feeling the answer is I have to go down this damn chute and I don't want to go down that damn chute Alright, save one more time going down the chute. God damn it. Of course I gotta go into a goddamn basement. Why wouldn't I? It's just something else that creeped me out. Oh, wait, you can't? Oh, I can't. Or maybe I have to have that one scene open. Very confused.
less confused. Straight to the top. The dirty cops looked down at the city. Their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it. This game really makes you think, man. Ugh. Okay, that opens. Check the rest of this area out. Confirming that that is indeed, okay, I'm up here. That is indeed the path. All right, Alan. Ugh. You said the W word. Ugh. Ugh. That's where I work. <laughs> it was locked from the other side. Damn Walmart. Ugh. I think we can store a few flares. Confirming I didn't miss anything. There's a locked door there. Ah. me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. <sighs> and now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. Boom. No! no! Crazy bastard! Why'd he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I find the murder site? Oh. 
Oh, this is gonna be fun. How do I get to the projection booth? Oh. The booth will be unlocked if I... No. Maybe? Hey, Sheriff. Alan. How's the memory doing? Sorry, who are you? Kidding. Good to see you, Tim. <laughs> you had me going. Something's out there. Cozy place you got here. You know, your disappearance from Bright Falls is still the only thing that folks talk about. Well, that and Deerfest. Is this where you ended up back in 2010? You know about that? I am the sheriff of Bright Falls. Or I was. Are you related to Sarah Breaker? She was the sheriff of Bright Falls back in 2010. Yeah, she's my cousin. I had a police sketch made of Dor based on my dreams. I sent it around and Sarah recognized the face from an old case file from the 80s. Whatever you say, Bobby Drake. I moved out there to look into it and became sheriff after she left to join the feds. So Deerfest is still a thing. Oh yeah, yeah, it's bigger than ever. You know, I got zapped here right before it was about to happen. Funny, me too. What was in the case file about Dorr? Not a lot of details in it. A local man named Moreland Dorr went missing near Cauldron Lake. Eyewitnesses claim he was struck by a bolt of lightning and just vanished. I never found any official records of a Moreland Dorr living in town or anywhere. Another dead end. What's out here? Something's out here.
Usually at the switch everything is what? Freaking you out, huh? we go. I found myself in a maze of film equipment. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. I wasn't alone. What's the door behind me? Okay, one way to go.
This is fun. This feels wonderful. Are we having so much fun, chat? Yeah. Just f uh oh. Oh, we're in a loop. I started. We're in a loop. A loop within a loop. I had to keep going. Okay, loop. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself. Who, who was it? Who said that? A gray-headed mask in my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron. Doors in the same place. Not everything matches, though. Okay, things don't match. The Casey in the story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. I was back at the beginning again. I, I had not. to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. We're not beginning, I'm Alan. Hello? Hey! Show yourself! That's a real clever trick, asshole. It's gone. You can run, but, you but I saw hide. someone. The gray head mask in my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron. Why don't you come here and say that to my face, buddy? Then we'll see who's the moron. Those fucking sounds are freaking me out! <laughs> That wasn't there before. I oh. was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. It's getting creepier looking. Sacrifice to open the way. No, <laughs> don't do it. You don't have to become a monster. Just leave the knife where it is in the back and go. The knife in the back? Everything about this was absurd. Our dialogue forced and ridiculous, in desperate need of another pass. But I'd play along to see where it took me. Let's forget about the knife. Don't, don't go looking for the knife. There 
There's no knife. Well, this is weird. None of these doors are opening. Coffee World. It's fucking Coffee World. I was getting close. Where is it? Makes any sense is in your psychotic brain. There's a fictional character in a story. You've fulfilled your purpose. You've brought the writer of the story here. You can go now, Casey. No, no, no. I'm not going anywhere before I get some answers. How was I in that movie? How, why does all this feel so familiar? What? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? No! Welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first, here's an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as a detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? The visions were getting under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. Wait. Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? Yeah, can leave. It's not the same room. It's not the same room. This is the actual. This is the actual. We're in the actual room. Okay. There's bright falls again. Coffee world. The murder site. mask was the key. Should have known it was fucking coming too. <laughs> Should have fucking known it was coming too. <laughs> it's the deputies. And that's what we use to decorate the float. This is how I could help her. Saga Anderson, listen. I I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? 
Wait, a scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Is we have family in the horror story? I was closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. <laughs> this fucking game's so cool. <laughs> uh. Okay, we've heard this song a hundred times. I was traveling deeper into the dark place. The poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps. Like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy. A curse. Looming over me. Anything in the room to loot? No. Okay. So now I just need to get the fuck out of here. of this nightmare, but I'd damn well try. This case would never be closed. I had more questions now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them the fuck off. <laughs> but I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. Okay, let's save real quick. And see if we can get the Parliament Tower. So from here. Something kept me going. 
A broken man. No hope, no prospects, no love. Too stubborn to die. Like a cockroach with a misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. Pretty simple run as long as I don't have to encounter 500 things. Right? Just run up a little bit and take a left. I about to hear quick, 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 quick. Since it wasn't Zane this time. either huh you're me me i don't understand there's a lot i don't understand a dark place operates in loops time is a story i'm calling you from a different point in that story from the future i'm never getting out of here am i yes you will and no you won't and that is by your own choice what does that mean I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. You need to go back to the talk show studio basement. Get Alice's photos from a shoebox there. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put the photos into the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina. <laughs> Well, shit. How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. I'd follow the steps he laid out for me. Alice's photo from the talk show building basement. I had to go back to get them. I'd bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue. Photos that I never grabbed. I forgot all about them. down there. Oh, gotcha. Uh, so... Peace. Well, that's irritating.
Less irritating. Still quite dumb. Alice's photos. I recognize the style. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. I need to get them to the plaza. do it game holy crap game is struggling they give me a save point I had the photos now I needed to put them into the shoebox by the statue. There's a loot box here. Where is it? Hey, batteries. Oh, we're being forced back now. I'm guessing they will at some point. Hmm. 
I'm almost wondering if I want to start this, though. Because I kind of want to set up, like, a big finale day, right? So I'm almost hesitant to do this. Hey, this door finally opens. Well, there's loot downstairs that I forgot to grab, so let's grab that. It was... where? In the back of the room where Casey was hiding. Okay. Yeah, let's make a... That's a good idea. Let's make a manual save. And I think is what we'll do is maybe we'll play something like Brotato for the rest of the day and do a big finale stream tomorrow. <clears throat> 